Hey, good morning and happy Wednesday. Coach Tom Ferry here. Want to have a little conversation with you about the power of right focus. The power of right focus. Uh, for many, many years, I've been in this dialogue with people, whether it's uh, John McMonagall, the number one agent in the world for Cole Banker, uh, a lot of my great clients in New York City, Georgia, you name it. Every one of my the same dialogue, I say the human mind can only have one focus at a time. One focus at a time. And the question is, every day when you get to the office, what is your dominant focus? What are you thinking about? What consumes you? What gets all of your attention? Here's what I said to all those great clients I've worked with. I said, if you look at what's going on every day in sales, um, obviously the ultimate goal is signed contracts, right? Helping people move forward, getting deals done, negotiating, getting you paid, signed contracts. The challenge is too often what happens, we get stuck out here in drama. Drama. How often does drama become the dominant focus of your day? You know, who's sleeping with who? What's going on with Tiger Woods? Did you hear about, and oh my goodness, will we be able to find all that drama? Guess what? You can't have drama and get signed contracts. It doesn't work. The second thing is we're noticing that a lot of people right now, especially because it's the end of the year, are getting hung up on incomplete projects. Well, I've, you know, I've got to finish my website and I still haven't completed my marketing and my business plan isn't done and this isn't done and that isn't done. Let me give you a little insight. Um, when you die, you will have a full inbox. It's automatic. Listen, the projects never, ever, ever, ever get complete. You're always going to have new things going on, but here's the challenge. I said the power of right focus. If you're thinking about incomplete projects, you're probably not getting yourself one step closer to sign contracts. So then somewhere in all this dialogue, somebody says to you, hey, you're in sales. Go talk to people. Go do something. Go be out and about, right? And guess what happens? We either get into the mindset of making contacts, making calls, doing open houses, sending out emails, but we get into that activity-based thinking. And here's the challenge. When you think about making contacts, guess what results you get? You get contacts. I coached this wonderful couple, my very first coaching clients ever, Matthew and Margie Kochman. Big shout out to them in Long Island. And I said to them, What's your goal? He said, I want to talk to 12,000 people every year. And at the time, he was selling about 27 homes a year. I said, that's the wrong focus. We had a little dialogue. The next year, he had less than 3,000 contracts or contacts and sold 68 homes. More than doubled his business, and we cut down his effort by 75%. The power of right focus. What are you focusing on every day? Well, guess what? The other one is leads. Oh, look at all these leads I have. And we all see these salespeople that walk around doing the lead dance. Look what I got. Oh, boy, this, this is an investor. And oh, they're going to do so much with me. I love my investor. And then guess what happens? You put all your eggs into that one basket, you know what happens. We can't get focused on leads because leads, definite sales, or right, or, or maybe sales, never pay definite bills. So we don't want to be focused on leads. The one thing I've stressed over and over and over, the one thing I want you focusing on is how many appointments are in your schedule every single day and every single week. Um, I don't care if the appointment is a meeting with a past client at Starbucks, if it's someone coming to your office, if it's talking to a potential investor, talking to a new client, previewing somebody's home, getting connected, engaging in the conversation. Listen, we make our money solving people's problems. To do that, we got to get knee to knee, we got to get face to face, we got to have dialogue, we got to converse, we got to ask questions. So I'm going to say to you that the power of right focus, the only true leading indicator of getting more signed contracts is appointments. So check this out. Right now we've got 42 of our clients going through a program called Boot Camp. In the last four weeks, look what they've done. Now, it's the 16th. It's Wednesday, the 16th of December. So this is basically Thanksgiving to today, right? Last four weeks, they've gone on 551 appointments. Now remember, our definition of an appointment is a meeting with someone I like who wants to talk about our business, who wants to be in dialogue. We didn't say they've got to be super motivated, but we want to be face-to-face -face engaging them in what their goals are. That's the intent, right? So 551 appointments, but look at this. 47 listings taken, 40 sales made in the last four weeks. Here's my question to you on this Wednesday morning. What are you focusing on? Drama, incomplete projects, 
you know, banging the phones, making contacts, doing more open houses, returning emails? Are you focusing on, oh, your little lead? Or are you focusing on being face to face with as many people as you can? to ultimately move the needle of your business. So I know it's December. I know you only got a few you know, more days or weeks depending on what your schedule is to work. But remember, at the end of the day, the more appointments you have, the more you win. Your strategy matters. Your passion rules. Talk to you on Friday.